Hey guys, this is MacHeads101, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make image maps with your, um, with the internet, with this website. I'm going to show you. So, first off, an image map, what that is, okay, I have this picture. It looks similar to the Apple toolbar, except for I changed it up a little, changed the Apple logo, the way it was written, what it says. So, um, I was going to use this for our website, but things changed around a bit and we didn't design it like apple.com like we thought we were going to but whatever so um here's our toolbar that we're, we're not, not our toolbar the toolbar we're going to use for this for this tutorial and first i'm going to be showing you what it, that is so if you go to apple.com this is apple's this is what apple's toolbar looks like but this is what their toolbar actually is all these images. So, what what are all these images? The first one says this is what it should look like. The second one says this is what it should look like if your mouse is hovering over it. Third one says what it should look like if your mouse is clicking on it. And the fourth one says what it should look like if you already bid there. So, what I mean by that is, if I hover over it, I see. If I first off, I see this. If I hover over, I see this. If I click down, I see that. And if I clicked and I'm at that site, I see that. So. There we go. They use the same toolbar for all of their pages. So how can we make a toolbar that goes to all these different things? You can just click in the link of the description of this video. I'm going to go to this site and um, go to the same site by link in the description of the video. Now, it says select your source. That means how you're going to get your image. You can use an image on your computer, which is on what I'm going to do. I'm going to upload one. You can use one on the internet. So if you find a nice toolbar in the internet, then you can use that. You can use one of their images. So I'm going to browse for one on my computer. That's the one I just showed you. Now you upload it. Okay, so now you can do that. And then you select your method, so I'm going to accept that. Now my toolbar is going to load. So first off, I take the rectangle tool. You can make it a circle or a polygon, but I'm going to use the rectangle tool. So, I choose rectangle, and I choose where I want the link to start. If I click there, I click where I want the link to start. Sorry, and then I drag out where I want it to end. So now we have a good link that's ready to work. So I'm just going to delete this one for now. Sorry, I don't know what I was doing. Okay, so I'll redraw that. I don't know why I deleted that. Okay, so you click back on this one so you can edit this one. You write where you, the href. You always have to type HTTP because it's a link, colon, slash, slash, and then where you want it to go. So I'll say apple.com. Target set. This window means it goes on um, whatever window they're on will go to that website. Next, there's um new window. That means it'll open kind of like a pop-up window, and that will bring that to Apple.com. Or I can just top this window. That means um, a new tab. I'm just going to say this window. And that's what I recommend. So now I can zoom back out and do the next one. And then I can just drag out click drag out make another link okay so once I did that and I have this selected area I write the href I'll say um http colon slash slash macheads 101.com now I can say um target I'll say this window and then I can choose the third one. This is the last one I'm going to do just that way you get how it works. So I click, I drag, and then I say the target, which is going to be http colon slash slash youtube.com. And I say target this window okay 
So now, under the code, okay, so now once you did that, if the status is ready, that means it's ready to roll, whatever, you, um, if it's not ready, that means you might have forgot a link or something. You just copy all this code. This is the code that you need for it to work. Now you can leave this website. I'll just minimize it. There we go. And open a text editor. I'll just open taco HTML, edit it because it loads faster because it's not as big. Now, first off you want to do is embed the image. An easy way to do that is most websites, most things have embedders built in. So I can just use the built-in embedder because I'm too lazy to type out the code. Alignment middle insert. So now here is the image and then I paste the code that we got from before. Okay. Now if I preview it, it doesn't work. Who wants to know why? I'll tell you why. Because um, where it says map ID, map name, we never, that tells it which picture it should apply to, but we don't have a picture named that. So how do we name a picture? It's not what the picture is called, it's the title of whatever. So first off, you're going to want to press enter in between here, these two lines, and give it a different map ID, because I don't, I think you're going to get confused if they're random numbers. So I'll call it toolbar, and then I'll call this one toolbar. Doesn't really matter what you call it as long as they're both the same. Now, I want to add something here. What do I add? This is what I add. Use map, no spaces, equals, because it's um, telling what thing to use, whatever, quote, number sign which is shift 3 and then in between these two things you say whatever you called it so I say toolbar Just to spell it right of course so now if I do that all correctly I can save why well, I don't have to save save as untitled thingy whatever so now I can preview it and these links don't work because I never set them, but watch. Watch carefully. Right now, it's just a regular image, and so my mouse has the mouse sign. But all of a sudden, when I go over this line, my mouse gets the hand sign, which means it's clickable. So I click there, and it brings me to YouTube.com, which means we successfully made our thing. You can click, and it goes to Apple.com. And so right now, that worked. So I'm just going to give you all this code, which is not the coordinates for yours, but it's coordinates that are good enough. I'm not because, but so that way, if you forgot something like how to use make the map ID, I'm gonna put this all in the description of the video, as well as the um, website URL that was the tool that helped us make this. So thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye, and remember. Subscribe to MacHeads101.